final day in La Rioja, in Los Picos de Urbion. And you can see here, all the way over in the distance, is where we were yesterday, right up on those two double peaks there, which you can't see. But uh, yes, yeah, so we've just come up to the top of a very nasty climb now, seven kilometers of climb. And we are going to take a descent now. No idea what we're going to find, no idea where we're going. We've got a rough track and that's about it. This is definitely the, uh, the path, or road less travelled. <sighs> Haven't managed to get a, a clean run out of anything so far. Let's see if it opens up further down. So we still haven't found a, uh, a descent, so to speak. But you can't argue with those views. Well, at least we're going fast. <laughs> Let's see if we finally find a bit of fun. <laughs> These brakes are starting to smell now. We've got some interested visitors coming down. Oh, that is more or less what we've come down from that. You can't see here, but there's a fire road that goes across three quarters of the way up. Which is the one instance where the walk button is actually useful. Looks like this is going to be another very physical ride today. And doesn't look like as much gonna let up either like yesterday. Ah! Good out there. Well, these trails are incredibly dirty, full of plants, overgrown, just making it very tricky going. Just the usual ride through the mountains, passing through an old house. Wow, this is overgrown. Fucking brambles, tearing me apart. Ah! This uh, route is getting a little tiresome now, I've got to be honest. We're all feeling it. It's very, very overgrown. 
our legs and arms being torn to shreds. I've yet to find a uh, a section of more than 20 meters. It's not closed off somehow. Oh, a bit of downhill. Of course, dear. I think this route might end up being a bust. For me, anyway. You know, if you don't get a good solid descent or two or three or four for all your hard work, then for me it's just, uh, you know, it might be beautiful, it might be stunning, but I'd rather be doing something else. And it looks like that we might have the remainder of the kilometers descending down back to the village on this gravel road. That is not a solid descent. Who knows, maybe we'll get lucky. Ah, <laughs> uh, another minute and a half of fun. Ah, oh, I can't see shit. Qué rutón, eh? Qué rutón, la mejor de todas. ¿Qué es lo que hacen los niños cuando se tienen la suela y da pataletas? Pa si no había habido ese trazo al final, pues habría hecho eso. Qué truñaco de ruta, tío. Well, we've literally just finished. Everyone's batteries in red. Uh, we're gonna have some food now, but I'm just gonna record this. This, this now, this, that. Uh, it, there was no. You gotta have the reward and it was a hard hard climb it was long it was hot there was just out of the whole of that we did 30 kilometers and there was probably about 500 meters a kilometer maybe of fun descending you know and that's just it's not worth it yes it was beautiful yes it was stunning yes it was <laughs> isolated and savage and wild but no nah, wouldn't do that again wouldn't recommend any to anyone do it either so anyway you know it doesn't always pan out but we're gonna have some food have a shower and then head back to Madrid. So I hope you watched the rest of the videos, the previous two videos I did here. They were absolutely awesome rides. If you haven't, go and check them out now. I'll link back to them. Of course, if you like the videos, give it a thumbs up, like, and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers, guys. Hasta la próxima.